What shall I do today? Lacey Green? Nah, I got work tomorrow evening, and that'll be an easy one to knock out. Milo Stewart? Oh, Quinby now, isn't it? Nah, by the time this video comes out, she'll have probably changed her fucking name again. Wait, what's this? Hey there, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. What the fuck was that? That's not Teddy. What have you done with him, Lindsay? You bring him back here right now. I promised that furry sack of shit if anyone was going to end him, it would be me. Unless he's going through puberty and that's his voice breaking. I don't know. Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. Today we're talking about what it means to be a good ally. Okay, but I am fully expecting a video on being a bad ally. You would have thought all allies are good, wouldn't you? But no, there's like a class system based on matriarchy points. Varying degrees of ally. Part of one big family. I fucking knew you'd be using that video for a new intro, and about time too. I think I just about ran out of jokes when it came to the old one. Gaming's happy. Queen. Hold on, hold on. I want to make a little change here. Bear with me. Ha! Bear with me. There's a bear. Fuck it. Never mind. Here we go. Gaming's happy. Here at Queer Kid Stuff. What the fuck is this? Do you think you're Ja, the Rastafarian deity, floating on a cloud ass motherfucker? And why does Teddy look like he's being held hostage? Notice how Lindsay has to keep hold of him so he doesn't jump off the cloud and into the sweet embrace of death. Welcome to season two of Queer Kid Stuff. Oh yes, I've been waiting, Lindsay. I've been waiting with the apprehension of a cow about to be milked. Every Wednesday, I check my feed for your latest video and you kept flaunting that fucking ukulele. Come on, let's have some proper fuckery. Let's do it, Lindsay. We've got some really exciting episodes coming up and today we want to talk about what it means to be a good ally. Yeah, 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 good ally. But what the fuck is this? A hand would have been pretty sinister, but a hand in a leather glove? Just what the hell is going on, Lindsay? Are you forcing this bear to record? with you. I'm just saying, compliance doesn't normally need a leather gloved hand to hold on to you at all times, does it? This looks well dodgy. You ready, Teddy? Ready. Okay. I'm starting to worry about Teddy. That voice, Lindsay holding on to him on the cloud, the glove, it's all pointing to a cry for help. Being a good ally is really important. Wait, wait, Lindsay. Yeah, Teddy? She looked genuinely shocked when he spoke then. Not the good kind either. The kind of shocked that says, I'm going to put you in a fucking blender as soon as we're done filming. That explains the sweatshirt he's wearing too. It hides the scars, doesn't it? Oh, it's all coming together now. Well, I don't know what ally means. Oh, for fuck's sake, Teddy. What the hell are you even doing on this show when you're so fucking retu- No, no, drunken uncle. This could be Teddy's hour of need. Don't take the piss out of him. Rather, scan what he says for some kind of secret code. He said, I don't know what ally means. That's an I-D-K-W-A-M. Idiquam. Huh. Well, I don't know what I expected from someone who doesn't know what ally means. Fuck's sake, Teddy. Teddy, I don't think our friends can hear you. Can you tell them what you asked me? He's scared of you, Lindsay. That's what happens when you keep someone in a box under your bed between season one and season two and only get him out to shove a fucking stick up his ass so you can make him agree with you. How can I be a good ally when I don't know what an ally is at all? I've got this one, Lindsay. You see, Teddy, there's no point in learning what that word means since the feminists will have changed it by tomorrow, round about 2 p.m. British Standard Time. I don't know what time that'll be in Yankee Land. Google it. Fucking hell. That's a great question, Teddy. Thank you for reminding me to explain a new word. Oh yeah, he's getting his ass kicked at the end of this video, isn't he? Might make for a decent intro sequence, Lindsay. You drop kicking Teddy off your roof and into heavy traffic, and he won't feel a thing since he's already dead inside. He'd probably welcome it, actually. Might even do a flip. Sometimes grown-ups have known a word for so long that we forget that kids don't know them too. Yeah! A video on the meaning of the word indoctrination would be good. Stop them kids from being brainwashed, you know? I can see how that wouldn't work in your favour, though, Lindsay. That would be like me doing a tutorial on how to get through one of your videos without swearing. A little bit hypocritical. If there's ever a word you don't know and you're confused, you should always ask about it. From now on, I will. Is it Stockholm Syndrome or is Teddy genuinely a brown-nosing kiss-ass? We may have to wait until season three to find out. Well, if the police don't find him by then, hashtag save Teddy. Okay, 
An ally is someone who supports people who are different from them. World War II would have panned out very fucking differently if that really were the case, Lindsay. Instead of concentration camps, there would have been training camps. And never mind the entire plot to Independence Day. Fuck with history all you want, but don't touch my films. I don't get it. <laughs> Let's take me for example. I'm a cisgender woman. Bullshit! who is a trans ally. You know, if you wore that on a label, some people would read it as trans alley, which sounds like a street in Amsterdam. Even though I don't identify as trans, I try to learn as much as I can about what it's like to be trans, and I use that information to help in whatever way I can. Lindsay, most trans people just want to be left alone. Let them integrate back into society as the gender they've transitioned to. Don't fucking draw attention to it. Unless they're one of those trannies that pass like a motherfucker, they're well proud of it. You'd be like, whoa, girl, you look fine. And they're like, I know, can you believe I've got a cock? That's one reason why I made the video last season all about what trans means. You aren't teaching about the ancient fucking Egyptians, Lindsay. This is some serious shit. This shit involves body dysphoria, depression, surgery, medication, and in some cases, suicide. Does that sound like something you want to teach kids? Because you're giving them half-truths. The tip of a hulk of an iceberg, and with every video you make on this subject, it comes ever closer to destroying your ship. That was me supporting and being an ally to the trans community. By drawing attention to them, yeah, good fucking job. Because the whole point of transitioning is to become a tranny, isn't it? Not male or female, no, of course not. Okay, so it has to do with your identity? Yes, it has to do with your identity and how you treat people with identities that are different from yours. Well, you say that, Lindsay, but where's your video on attack helicopters? That's a massive community with some impressive weaponry. It's super important to be an ally. During times of war? Yeah, I'd agree with you. Oh, I guess the culture war counts. All right, carry on. It's especially important to be an ally to a community of people who might not have stuff that you have. Yeah, no, that's true. See, I have an Xbox, and I try to support any of those poor fuckers who have a PlayStation. It's like a third world console, you know? They should have the same adverts as those Ethiopian kids who apparently spend money like a motherfucker. Seriously, 30 odd years these charities have been running, give us a pound a month. And those kids are just pissing all that money away, aren't they? They don't have a stable house or any clean water, but fuck, they have a collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that will make your mouth water. That's something called privilege. Whoa. What's privilege? Oh, oh, I've got this one as well, Lindsay. You see, Teddy, I have male privilege because I have balls. Whereas in actual fact, being male offers me no advantages in society. Rather, I'm disadvantaged at most turns in an attempt to offset this non-existent privilege, resulting in, well, discrimination. And that's cool. It just means I'm prouder of my achievements because I had to work for them rather than them being handed to me under the banner of affirmative action. We're going to get more into privilege later this season, but for now you can think of it as certain people having advantages over others because of how they identify. Identify? How are you fuck- I could identify as a strong independent black woman! That wouldn't change the fact that I'm gonna lose out on employment opportunities to an equally qualified actual black woman! Because no company has a quota for the amount of weirdos in their workforce! You want to explain privilege properly, Lindsay? Tell the kids what affirmative action means. Go on, I fucking dare you. Straight people have an advantage over gay people because gay people have to deal with homophobia. Because straight people aren't homosexuals. Of course they don't. That's not privilege. It just doesn't apply. However, go over to Riley Dennis's channel and you'll see some heterophobia there. Head over to Tumblr and see the amount of people talking shit about straight men. You forget, Lindsay. Gay people can be right bitches the same as anyone else because, now I want you to write this down, your sexuality doesn't define who you are as a person. I know, right? Shocker. Homophobia is a disadvantage for gay people. That's why it's important for straight people to be allies to gay people. I get it now. Teddy, you sound like my fucking grandmother. Sort it out, mate. Awesome. 
There are so many different ways to be an ally. You can be an ally to people with different skin colors, different pronouns, different bodies. The list goes on. You said there are different ways to be an ally, then you listed different types of people to ally with. How do I ally, Lindsay? How do I ally? Okay, so what do I have to do to be a good ally? Oh shit, high five, Teddy! Oh, you can't because you're being held down, but still, it took a stuffed animal to get to the fucking point. The three main things to remember about being a good ally are to respect other people, listen to other people, and learn from other people. Nah, they all sound I'm boring as fuck. I'm just saying, you obey those three rules and I'm an asshole, but my audience is bigger. One, respect. You need to respect other people and their identities. Other people have feelings that can get hurt just like yours. You need to be respectful and kind to other people. Need to? I don't need to. Don't tell me I need to do something and then fail to state the reaper fucking cushions. It's about thinking of others rather than just thinking of yourself. Calling someone a mean name because they are gay is disrespectful. Agreed, but so fucking what? I'm not condoning it, I'm just saying it's not the end of the fucking world. Sure, your parents will tell you no one will like you if you're a dick, but that's really not true. For a little while there, I was making a decent living out of it. Using the wrong pronoun for someone on purpose is disrespectful. A good ally respects other people. Respect. Got it. Two. Listen. You need to listen to people who have identities that are different from yours. No, they're fucking boring. All they want to talk about is their fucking identity. Like, come on. Have you seen the Logan movie? Played any good games? Anything? If someone has an identity that is different from yours and they want to tell you something about their experience, you should listen to what they have to say. Hell no! If we're halfway through an episode of Game of Thrones and they pause it to tell me something about being transgender, I don't care! I'm kicking off! If you're straight and are talking to an LGBTQ plus person about being LGBTQ plus... Then what the fuck are you doing with your life? Get a job, you bum! Then they probably know more about that than you. Oh, so my degree in sexuality studies is useless unless I'm a gayer myself? Talk about fine fucking print! Listen, I can do that. And finally, three, learn. You need to keep learning new things about other people and their experiences. Why? For fuck's sake, if it's like the time they cheated a casino or something, or when they shagged Caitlyn Jenner, I'm all fucking ears. There are certain things I want to know about how you did that, but otherwise, fuck off. If you respect and listen to people with other identities, then you will probably learn something from them. It's important to keep an open mind to new ideas so you can learn something new about other people every day. People chat shit every day too. Just adding that in there, I think it's an important lesson. And use those ideas to become a better ally. See, I told you, varying degrees of ally. I've learned so many new things from my friends with different identities from me, especially from my friends who are trans and who use they for their pronoun. Yeah, I bet what you learned from the pronoun people was utter bullshit. Is Teddy okay, by the way? He seems sedated. And I'm a much better ally now because I respected them, listened to what they had to say, and learned from them. And I'm still learning from them. My friends even help me with queer kid stuff when I talk about something that is not a part of my identity. Well, you could just get them to do it, you know? Cut out the middleman, so to speak. Fuck knows, I could do with some fresh blood on here. You, you, you just look like an extra from the Harry Potter films to me. You learn new things too? I sure do. Even though you're old? I'm not that old, Teddy. Oh shit, you're gonna pay for that one, Teddy. Oh, oh, hold on. What did he say? Wait, even though you're old. W-E-T-Y-O. Wet yo. She's wet yo. Lindsay's raping him. It's a cry for help. Call the police. Call Peter. Hashtag save Teddy. But grown-ups do still learn new things all the time. I've learned so much from having these conversations with you, and I hope you've learned new stuff from watching our videos. Oh yeah? Look, Timmy, this is what indoctrination looks like. This is how you become a child soldier for the people who'll try to destroy your life if you dare disagree with them. Yay! Thank you for teaching me all of these new things, Lindsay. You are very welcome, Teddy. I'm going to do my best to be a good ally. I'm really glad. Teddy has behaved well today. Teddy may be given food if he carries on behaving. 
Thank you so much for watching Queer Kid Stuff. If you have any questions about being a good- No! So there we have it, my easily influenced children. Queer Kid Stuff Season 2. Because sometimes you gotta screw up your kids twice. Thanks for watching, guys. Special shout out to my lovely patrons. Thank you for your continued support. And remember, telling a lie to an ally that lies is a lie that no ally likes.